Hey, what's poppin' boys, girls, everyone, in between and otherwise? My name's Adri, and welcome back to Life Hate to Adri. Today, I'm gonna tell you guys how to survive high school. If you watch my 50 facts about me, you'll know that I'm 15, which means I am in grade 10, and I'm in high school. Sadly, it's terrible, it sucks, don't go. I'm kidding, it's not really. But high school does kinda sorta suck, and you're gonna need some tips on how to survive, because God, it's a bitch out there. So here are 10 tips on how to survive high school. Let's go. The first, the first and most important tip I have is to stay in your own lane, okay? And pro people are probably like, what does that mean? Where are we driving? What do we do? No, this has nothing to do with cars for fuck's sakes. Staying in your own lane basically means like, don't overstep boundaries. Don't get into someone else's business. Don't share someone else's business. That's just stupid. You're what high schoolers like to call a snake if you do that, okay? You don't want to be called a snake. That's terrible. It's like, if you're in prison and you're called a snitch, it's bad. Same thing as high school. If you're in high school and you're called a snake, it's bad. Like, you're f***ed. You're absolutely f***ed. So yeah, just stay in your own business. Don't mind other people. Don't bother other people. If they're doing what they're doing, you're doing what you're doing. Forget them. Stay in your goddamn lane. Now, second tip is to make friends. And I know this sounds like common sense or relatively should be common sense but surprisingly it's not people complain all the time about how they hate school how school sucks how you know people suck and while i very much so agree the certain people are people who literally come to school from eight to three do nothing except for just go to classes don't really talk don't really communicate don't socialize and then go home like okay school you're there to learn yeah that's the first and foremost. But secondly, have fun for God's sake. What is school if you're just going from eight to three? It's bullshit, that's what it is. It's just stupid. So yeah, the biggest tip I can give you is socialize and make friends for God's sakes. Like you're gonna have a great time if you have a good group of friends who A, care about you, don't find crappy friends. I should have mentioned that. And B, just want the best for you like you want for them. So find good friends, please. It'll make high school 10 times better. The third tip I can give is you do you. And I know this sounds like, oh my God, just be yourself and life will be great. But okay, first of all, that's bullshit. Secondly, uh, high school's like a jungle. <laughs> Some people are gonna make fun of you. It's a fact. You can't stop that. That's, it's a matter of fact. You physically cannot stop people bugging you, but you can embrace it. For example, me. I make videos. Most of them are kind of cringe, but who cares? Someone makes fun of me. Oh well, I know they're cringe. I make them cringe on purpose sometimes. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Who cares? What is someone gonna do? No one calling you cringe or stupid or gross or whatever is gonna end your life. I can promise you that. So just keep going on with what you're doing. And if everyone does that and doesn't mind other people's opinions or comments, life would be fan. Tip number four is to take the courses you enjoy. And I know people are gonna tell you, you have to take business, you have to take sciences, you have to keep your options open. I know people are taking difficult subjects, taking the sciences, taking the businesses, who hate it, and they're taking it just because people are like, oh, you should do it, keep your options open. But like, what's the point if you don't like it? If you're not, if you don't like it, you're not gonna get into it. It's not gonna be your job if you don't like it. And if you have a job that you don't like, Oh my God, I am so sorry for you. So take the courses you enjoy, even if that's drama or art or gym all the way through, no one can tell you that it's useless if you like it. Even if you're a boy and you wanna take art or drama, if you're a girl and you wanna take gym, have fun, live life, take what you want and plan what you want for your future. Tip number five, don't skip. I'm saying this because I've never skipped a class and I know that makes me sound like a loser, and trust me, I get it. But if you miss a class, you are missing quite a lot. You're missing around an hour and 15 minutes, depending on where you are, of content. And you, in high school, need to know almost everything. You need to be there. So if you do skip, don't. But actually find out what you're doing in class and learn it, because I can almost guarantee you whatever you were learning is gonna end up being on the test, like 112%, literally. And if you don't know that one section, you're screwed. Because if you miss one day, you might miss an entire section on your unit test or your exam. And then you're So yeah, don't skip. Tip number six, and that is to actually participate. Actually participating means not just in class and raising your hand, even though that's a great idea because that's actually how you learn the most by trying to answer. 
but participate in school outside of class. And that just doesn't mean socializing. That also means joining clubs, joining teams, doing things that you like because high school is useless if you don't like it. If you don't like it, you're not gonna enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, you're not gonna learn. If your high school's a little bit bigger, I promise you it's gonna have something, one club, one team that you like. And if it doesn't, make one. Go to a teacher, find a teacher, talk to um, another club and see if you can branch off from there and make your own club because you have to do things that you like. Tip number seven, do your work. I know before grade nine, a little bit into grade nine and maybe grade 10, people are like, yeah, I don't need to study. I need to do my homework. I don't need to work. I can get by. Half of your homework is probably gonna be on your test, if your teacher's good at least. And in grade 10 and grade nine, you can probably maybe get by with 60s, 70s if you're really, really smart and don't do your work. When you hit grade 11 and you hit grade 12, I don't know this from personal experience, but I know other people have told me, I know teachers have told me, if you don't do your work, you're basically screwed. I feel it now in grade 10. If I don't do half of my math work, I will not pass. I, it's fact, it's fact. And let me tell you a little story. In grade nine, towards the beginning of the year, you know, I didn't really do my work. I basically blew it off because in grade seven and grade eight, I didn't need to, and I got on a roll like that. It was really easy. In grade nine, especially in math, I stopped doing my work. I didn't really do it. And yeah, I got like 60s and 70s on quizzes and you know, lower than that on tests. And I'm like, don't worry, I'll bring it up. I'll just, you know, try and study the day before. But then I realized I knew nothing the day before. Therefore, I knew nothing on the test. I failed a test, a test that I should not have failed because it was easy. I just didn't get it because I didn't do anything in that class. And that was halfway through the year. So after that, I did all of my work and I ended up bringing my mark up by 10%, 10% in three months? Unheard of. It's almost impossible. Like, I don't know how I did it. I'm genuinely surprised. So yeah, stay on top of your work, actually do it. But also get some sleep, please. Like, that's not a tip, but it's a mandatory thing. Get some sleep. Tip number eight, the nerds will be billionaires. And I know this sounds very odd and like cliche or whatever, but the fact is the people who work their butts off in school will go farther because not just that they're getting good grades, they show that they can work their butts off. So if they work their butts off in school, that means they might be able to work their butts off in their businesses or in whatever they choose to do. Because if they work their butts off, they can do whatever the hell they want because they're hard workers. Work hard, be a nerd. You're gonna end up being rich. I, maybe not, but I mean, you're gonna end up doing something you like and probably making decent money off of it. Tip number nine is that it isn't always good. Now, this sounds very pessimistic and you know, kind of crappy and you're like, I really don't wanna go to high school right now. High school doesn't always work out. It kind of sucks sometimes. Sometimes you are so incredibly stressed with work and your friends suck and you, maybe you're single or you just got dumped by your boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever you're dating, but it's not always good. You have to be prepared for that. Sometimes it's gonna suck and sometimes it's gonna really suck, but there are gonna be times when it's actually good. Just remember that it's always gonna suck sometimes, not all the time. Which brings me to my next tip, 10. It's just four years. Now, four years seems like a long time, I know, but it's not permanent. High school is not forever. I don't care if you're the biggest popular kid in high school or the jock or the nerd. High school's just four years. After that, people aren't gonna care. No one's gonna remember who Sally was with her freaking Prada purse or whatever. Or the kid that got pushed into a locker once or twice. Fact is, high school's only four years. It doesn't really last longer than that. People go their separate ways. People forget about each other. And um, here's a little bit of a bonus tip. School isn't the only answer. Now, I know, stay in school, finish high school, please. But if you don't wanna continue on with university or college or anything post-secondary, that's fine. Your parents, some of your teachers might tell you, you have to go to college, you have to go to university, you have to get a degree. You don't always need one. It's depending on what you want. It doesn't matter what they want, it matters what you want. So if you don't wanna do anything after high school, don't wanna go to university, don't wanna go to college, you wanna make videos, make freaking videos. If you wanna go to university or get your PhD or go to med school after that, go for it. If you wanna go to college, do that too. It doesn't matter. School isn't the only answer, it's just one of them. Yeah, that was a little bit of a different video. Slightly, slightly, slightly less funny. A big slightly. I mentioned last video about like merch or whatever and I, that's gonna come out soon, I pinky promise. I hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you next week.